In Matthew 7, 12, we read a verse that we've heard many times. Whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. I started my education at a Christian college, and every winter they had a week-long Bible lectureships with well-known speakers as well as faculty from the university, and they addressed Bible topics and research subjects and addressing church-wide controversies. Well, I was a freshman in college, and I witnessed in the student center uh, a well-known minister verbally attacking another minister with whom he had a different opinion on a controversial subject. And he was loud and overbearing. He backed this other preacher into a corner. He didn't give him a chance to speak. And I was embarrassed to witness this, but I was too timid to speak. I would not have intellectually been able to enter the conversation, and I may not have helped the berated minister, but I could have at least told the guy that I was embarrassed by his anger management problem and his unloving display in front of college students. Well, later in life, I was able to address a minister who accused my brother, who was invited to speak at a church, of siding with a minister with a view that he considered to be wrong. He had never talked to my brother. He didn't attend that church where my brother was to speak. He never met or talked to the minister. He accused my brother of being a disciple of. Well, he did apologize for his assumptions, and he had already written this up in a periodical. Uh, but he, he apologized for that in spreading misinformation. In another instance, one of my church members had moved to another town and another church where the minister there would not uh, accept her as a member of that church until she was rebaptized. Well, I called him. We talked about baptism, her understanding of baptism. I presented the argument of her valid baptism, and I didn't change his mind, so I counseled her to find another church where she would find acceptance. Well, I have learned to listen and carefully consider other people's opinions, but also sometimes, not always, to stand up for the mistreated or misrepresented. We all need to treat others as we would like to be treated. So consider that passage again. Whatever you wish that other people would do to you, do also for them. That is the law and the prophets. So that the words of God find a place in our hearts and make us rich in every way.